patient with me. Someone to get money when I take it from me. Uh, they don't even need to be as famous as me. I don't think I meet them at the places I be. But deep down, I think about you all day. Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. As y'all can see by today's video, I'm in the car with it. I'm actually at Costco because today we're doing a reset. Not just like any type of reset. Today I'm resetting my whole life to be 21 because I turned 21 on Wednesday, y'all, um, which was like four days ago. So I'm freshly 21 and y'all, my to-do list is longer than ever. I have so much to do. We just gonna be resetting, getting everything back together for 21. I am feeling like a little sick. It's starting to be allergy season. So if you hear me sniffling and all that, it's nothing crazy, y'all. It's just allergies. Today, I had to go to Costco, go to H Mart. I might have to go to Kroger. I'm gonna try not to go to Kroger because I don't want to go to three grocery stores. I was gonna make my Amazon returns, but I'm gonna just wait to do that. And then I have to go home, do my laundry, clean the kitchen, make dinner, edit, and do homework. And it's currently 4.30. So it's pretty late in the day to be starting all this. I really should have been up at 8, but last night I was outside. So it was not getting up at 8 o'clock. And tomorrow, my cousin Fiona comes into town. Because we're going to see Nicki Minaj on Wednesday. So she comes in tomorrow, Monday. So I got to be up early in the morning to get her from the airport. So basically, I just got a lot of stuff to do in a little amount of time. And I have like two exams this week. Because we're just now getting off spring break. So we about to have a bunch of exams and stuff. My hair's in a bob right now. But I have it in this little bun ponytail thing. So not too much, not too much on me. I just needed my hair out of my face. But let me hurry up and get into Costco. I do have a grocery list, but it's not like a definite list. It's just like some things that I need. So yeah, we're going to go through that and get this done. I'm trying to be in and out like 40 minutes the most because I got to go to H Mart. I got to go to Kroger. I got to do a lot. And y'all, y'all you know like the little wagons you use to bring your groceries upstairs? I literally just got delivered when I was leaving my apartment. So it's right here in the box and I'm just praying to god i'm praying that it comes assembled because if not i don't know how i'm gonna get these groceries into my apartment lego this is why i love costco y'all because look at this 40 waters for 3.99 let me know where you can get that deal anywhere else just let me know just let me know because i ain't never seen it I gotta get two because Brie wants me to get her one too. Okay, I just got my water, but I'm still gonna get a case of spring water too because I try to drink spring water every day. Oh my God, my cart is so heavy now. I need my Evian water. Cause if y'all didn't know, spring water is way better for you than purified water. They got Fiji for 21. They also got alkaline water. Alkaline water is good for you too. If I don't find the Evian water, I'm gonna come back and get the alkaline water. These Izzy drinks are my literal favorite it's only 20 dollars for a case of 24. it's so good so yummy i also ran out of tide pods y'all so we're gonna get one of these for my laundry i used to use detergent but these last way longer the one i have before literally lasted me six months and i used two per load not even one these are literally my favorite things in the world and i literally forgot that only costco carries them i'm so glad that i just saw it because i would have left it out Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, so far I just picked up some veggies. This superfood blend, I'm gonna try that. I got some cups for the house, my Thai pods, and some chips, and that's it so far. I'm just looking for salmon, and that's probably it. So yo, we all good in costume. That's what I got. I might look like a bunch of bullshit, but I'm gonna give y'all a haul when I get back home. And H Mart is only five minutes away from here, which is perfect. So that's gonna be quick. I only need like a few things out of there. Honestly, what do I really need from H Mart? I'm not going to H Mart. I need a seaweed. I found it in here. I need a noodles. I found it in here. So yeah, we're just gonna go to Kroger. Scratch H Mart, y'all. By my name, the love you give me, I just can't deny. Yeah, no longer blinded, I can see. I'm on my way to meet you. 
okay a costco check that was good that was kind of quick now i'm gonna go to kroger i'm not going to h mart anymore because i only wanted to go to h mart to buy seaweed and like the asian noodles i found seaweed in costco and i found the asian noodles in costco so I'll go to kroger to get like some of the things in costco i didn't want to buy in there because you know costco sells everything in bulk i don't need i don't need two big things of like cooking oil i just need one so i'm going to kroger to get those things so i'm gonna see y'all when i get to kroger I just got to Kroger. I'm gonna try and make this quick because I got frozen food in my trunk right now. So we're gonna make this super duper quick in and out. I didn't buy any spring water, so I might get some here. I'm not trying to spend too much because we did $2.20 in Costco. We're gonna try and take it down a little bit from that. But I just need like little household things like rice, ranch. In my last preset video, y'all, I picked up this grapefruit juice, and it is so good. Like, it's my favorite juice now. It's crazy because I don't even like grapefruits, like the actual grapefruit, but that juice is really good. This is my first time in this Kroger, and I don't know where anything is at. Like, I literally can't find anything up in here. What else do I need? I got bread. I still need lunch meat, cheese, and I got cooking oil. I need rice and shredded cheese. Look at this, y'all. Whole chicken wings. Ten dollars at Kroger. Like what? They be giving you the deals. Ten dollars. Look at this, y'all. Smoked salmon dip. I'm finna try that. That sound good. Okay, y'all. We got everything, and I'm finna go ahead and check out. It's going on seven o'clock. Do something, make me smile. It's hard for me to try to doubt this fear. So yeah, I'm finally back at the crib. Finally, and I'm gonna give y'all a grocery haul. I already put some things in the fridge, like the salmon and everything like that. So y'all not gonna see that, but y'all gonna see everything else. I spent $400 on groceries, so I literally should not be buying food till 2026. Okay, first thing, we got is some plastic cups. And y'all, Kroger had full wings for $10. 10, I had to get it, I just had to get it. Actually, I'm gonna cook this tomorrow. I'm gonna cook this tomorrow. But I'm gonna probably season it tonight. Got some barbecue lays, my grapefruit juice, some honey, pickles. I don't even think I needed pickles, but I just got them. Ranch. This is the only store brand ranch that I'll eat. Then y'all, this smoked salmon dip. We gonna see what that's hitting for. It looks and sounds good though. Checkers fries, cheese sticks, garlic, chili oil, rice, bacon bits, two alanis, peach, and I got some bleach and some pine sole bread. We got ham and turkey for the sandwiches and Kobe Jack cheese for the sandwiches. More fries, cooking oil, shin ramen if you know you know, and shredded cheese. Got some seaweed, potato chips if you know you know. I don't know how it's all gonna fit in the freezer, but we're gonna make it work. My veggies from Costco. And then the only other thing that I got was of these, I was telling y'all about in Costco. A case of water. I got this. I can't wait to try it, see if it's actually good. Rotisserie chicken for tonight. Eggs. And I got two cases of spring water. I've never had this brand. Normally I go Evian. The eternal water, I never had it. So hopefully it's not nasty. Cause I really like Evian spring water. And that's everything for the groceries. I'm gonna put all this away. And then I'm gonna put some rice on and clean the kitchen. By the time I'm done cleaning the kitchen, the rice will be done. It's dinner time. And then I gotta clean my bathroom. Room. But for now, I'm gonna go make my bed because my sheets are dry. Dinner is served. We got some other chicken. Ooh. That's how you know it's hot. Okay, vegetables, rice, and smothered chicken, period. Now I'm about to eat this, and then I'm gonna come back to y'all when I'm done eating. I just wanna show you my dinner. Dirty shoes since I was 10, love dirty men alike. Ooh, bad 
today than cash today. I just take it day by day. anything different about me she is no lashes sure you got no lashes on it's actually the next day and i'm about to take an everything shower and we're gonna do a really intense self-care night i want to shave my legs i want to do skincare i want to dermaplane i want to do it all and you know how like when you have lash extensions on you can't wash your face the same it's just not the same and personally i just wanted a break i know i'm maturing because i find myself falling out of love with lash extensions more and more like don't get me wrong i'm gonna still get my extensions for like trips or special occasions but in general y'all i really prefer my natural Natural face with some good old-fashioned mascara but that's neither here nor there right now I am about to jump in the shower and then take an everything shower and then when I come out the shower we're gonna do some self-care some journaling I'm gonna show out my skincare routine I'm gonna do a face mask I also bought some new under eye patches so I'm really excited to show y'all all that but first we gonna jump right in the shower why is my bob low-key still bobbing like don't play <laughs> Okay, y'all, so now I'm about to do some serious, serious skincare. Like, I've just been feeding to wash my face extra, extra good. Now that I have my lashes off, y'all don't even know how excited I am for real. The first thing you want to do is get the hair out the face, of course, especially not to leave out. And we're going to start with a good cleanse okay so if you watch my last reset video you know what cleansers i be using i either use the CeraVe hydrating oil cleanser or the La Roche Posay Tolerine or Tolerine purifying foaming cleanser or both like this will be my oil cleanser this will be my foaming cleanser but today i'm gonna just do La Roche Posay because my skin's not really oily i don't really need a double cleanse today so the La Roche Posay will do just the trick always wash your hands before you wash your face even though I just got out the shower, I'm still gonna wash my hands. I let my face wash really lather up before I put it to my face. Now that the face is clean, we're about to dermaplan. Dermaplaning, y'all, ever since I started doing it, whenever it's not done, my face just doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel smooth, it doesn't feel extra clean. I don't know. I have to dermaplan. I use aloe vera gel as my base. Some people use oil, but aloe vera gel is what works best for my skin. So I just apply that all over my face. And I use like a relatively thick layer because I never want to cut my skin or create any nicks. One part of my face that I don't dermaplan though is my forehead because I don't find the need to do that. And look at all the dead skin in the hair that just came off my face. That's nasty. Now I'm gonna just take a warm cloth and just remove all the excess aloe vera gel. I use warm water or like a warm cloth so that my skin doesn't get irritated after I just shaved it. I'm gonna go with my CeraVe hydrating toner. Y'all already know I love this toner. It's honestly extremely, extremely hydrating. I'm gonna just put that all throughout my skin. After I dermaplan, I like to make sure that I restore moisture back into my skin because if you do it the wrong way, it can be drying. 
So I'm about to try this new sheet under eye mask I got from Walgreens. It's a deep puffing under eye mask set and it's 100% vegan. And it says the main ingredient is sea algae and glycerin. I don't know if that's good for you, but I know the sea algae is good. And it also contains gardena flower extract. And it says the gardena flower extract contains antioxidants that target puffiness around the eyes. And the reason why I picked this up, y'all, is because it's allergy season, like seasonal allergy season. And if you know me, you know I struggle really bad around this time of the year. I'm always itching my eyes. I'm always runny nose, all that. So I needed something to help me combat that. So we're about to try these out and i only did toner i'm gonna put these on to lock in the moisture in the toner and then i'm gonna come back and finish the rest of my skincare routine they're very moist so i'm assuming they're gonna be very hydrating hopefully they really help me with this puffiness i don't know if i can tell but my eyes are puffy as we speak this is the mask so i'm peeling off the sticky part What I will say is it feels really good on my eye. I feel like if you have a skincare fridge or like even just any fridge, put these in the fridge before you put them on just for like an extra cooling effect. Okay, so I got my under eye patches on and I'm gonna let these sit for, it says 10 to 15 minutes and my camera is about to overheat. So I'm just gonna come back to you guys in 10 to 15 minutes and we're gonna take these off and finish the skincare. All right y'all, it's been 15 minutes. That felt really good. And under my eyes feel really soft. I need to get you some of these. So now I'm about to go with my Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I told y'all in my last IG video that I'll be checking in on you guys about my experience with the molecules. I like all the products. The only product I think I'm gonna swap out of my routine is the Discoloration Serum because I don't really notice a difference with that. I'm gonna swap it out for the Topicals Discoloration Serum. A lot of the girlies say they see real results with that. So we're gonna see what that talking about the good molecules one like i literally don't notice any difference and i wear my sunscreen i'm consistent with my skincare so it's like i don't know but until i get the topicals one i'm gonna continue using it in my routine but i'm not gonna use it tonight though my skin is already feeling so like hydrated right now and lastly i'm gonna go with my cerave moisturizer you all already know what i'm gonna say only the one in the pump bottle the one in the pump bottle way better than the one well I mean the one in the tub. I just bought the tub with the pump. But like the regular CeraVe moisturizer in the bottle, that one has like a thinner consistency. If you know, you know. Skincare is complete. The next thing I have to do tonight is fold these clothes I just washed. So that's what we're about to do. I hope y'all are enjoying the video so far. And I hope you remain watching because if you don't, like, why would you click off though? Why would you click off? And you know you're enjoying this video. Like, why would you leave? Now, I'm about to fold some clothes because I have so much clothes to fold. I'm not gonna lie, I put my bonnet on because I'm kind of getting tired, like, I'm kind of getting sleepy, but I'm gonna finish everything tonight, of course. So I have two laundry baskets full of clean clothes. Look at this, y'all. This is, like, damn near my whole wardrobe in this pile. I'm about to fold. While I'm folding... I'm watching my favorite show ever, Criminal Minds. So I'm gonna be folding and watching my show. Hopefully it don't take too long, cause like I said before, I'm getting kind of tired, and I do have to be up early in the morning. All I can say is I feel way better about going into the week knowing that my life is all the way together. Like my room is clean, laundry is washed, folded, everything showered up, body clean, body C. Okay, body T. I ate dinner. Like I'm feeling really good about the week. The final thing I need to do to make sure I have a good week is get in my Bible before I go to bed. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of reading in my Bible. I'm gonna put the link in the description box for you guys. If I don't do it, just comment down below and remind me because sometimes I do forget. But a little info on my Bible. This is the She Reads Truth Bible. I believe that's what it's called. The Bible tabs are from Amazon. A lot of y'all be asking, no, the Bible did not come like that. And then I also ordered bleed free Bible, well not Bible highlighters, but highlighters that don't bleed from my Bible because you know how the Bible has really thin pages. I 
right now I'm working on the book of Proverbs. I read somewhere that Proverbs is a good place to start so that's where I started and I am enjoying my reads so far so I'm gonna just go ahead and read my Bible. I'm not gonna necessarily do a whole Bible study tonight just because I am a little tired. I just want to spend like 15-30 minutes of God before I go to bed just to make sure I have a good week ahead of me and everything like that. And after that I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep y'all so that will be concluding today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my reset. I'm feeling really good about turn 21 and everything that's to come like I have a really 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 good feeling about it y'all and I need y'all to stay on my ass in the comments stay on me so I can stay consistent stay in my bible stay on my schoolgirl stuff I need y'all to be on my ass okay thank y'all again for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video God you call me by my name the love you give me I just can't deny yeah no longer blinded I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awaken me from death God, I need you No more walking by the flesh That's when I leave you God told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone